What's up guys, it's Outdoors in the 217, uh, it's my second video. Uh, I'm especially be showing you some of my tackle and a few of my rods and reels. Um, start off with this, uh, this, uh, I'm sorry. I'll start off with this, uh, container of tubes. Um, these tubes, my buddy just gave them to me because he never really tried me and think they were going to work too well. I can't even remember what the brand is, he's had them so long. But I took all the tubes and I put them in this plastic container. And I don't know if you've heard of it, but it's the Bass Attractant by like Walmart, any kind of sports store. And it's called Bass Attractant, like by, I think it's by Baitmate, I think is what it is. And I took all these tubes, they're just a bunch of different color, pretty much all the same size. And these are older tubes, they ain't got the little small, like most tubes nowadays come like a quarter inch uh, uh, solid head for like Texas rigging. But uh, I took all these tubes and I had some leftover Bass Attractant, it never really worked for me. And I soaked all the tubes in them, and they've been soaking there pretty much since the beginning of winter until I pulled them out, and it's uh, July 2nd today. And I pulled them out, and I've been using them, and uh, I've been catching a few bass. They've been fairly decent. There's like some brown and gold sparkles, uh, some like watermelon uh, jelly with black sparkles. Um, there's just all kinds of colors in there. But yeah, those have been working fairly decent. Like I said, if I, if I can find out what uh, brand they are, I'll uh, get back with you guys. Um, in here, it's just some of my tackle. Um, here's have a box of uh, just some little crappie assortment, little crappie and bluegill assortment, or some mouse. These are actually called squirmies. Uh, they're by, uh, I can't remember who these are by. They are just cheap ones, the big eyes picked up for a little bluegill jigging. And crappie jigging. Uh, another crappie jig I like to throw. There's Love and Neon. These are by uh, Mr. Twister. Got mosquitoes. They're good for crappie. And uh, some bluegill. I actually even caught a few bass on there. And I got some some uh, more crappie trailers and jigs. And some. These are my favorite. These are like a pumpkin with black sparkles in them. Um, the only scent I use is Chompers Formula A. By Table Rock Bait and Capital Co Bait and Tackle Company. It's called an, it's the anise flavor. This actually works pretty good. Uh, it's been working for me. It's the only scent that I've found worked. That I found that has worked um, for catfish or from replacing some trebles on crankbaits and rattle traps. Mostly for catfish and treble hooks. I use a size number two, equal claw later sharp size two, three X trebles. Uh, I like the red color, especially at night when the moon is shining. And catches the size, comes the light, just lights that red. Bluegill, it's just some J hooks for bluegill. Uh, split shots, if I'm ever using split shots for like drop shots or anything, uh, I use a one ounce by Bass Pro Shops. Um, there's no weights in here, but these are the weights I use for Texas rig. Number one, water gremlins, slip sinkers. A 3 8 size, there's just the 8 in a bag. And occasionally I'll buy uh, some Gamagatsu weights or some hooks with building bullet weights. Um, I do trout fishing. I use this treble hook for my uh, trout bait. Uh, it's treble triple, round bin, size ten. Bass Pro Shops, by Bass Pro Shops, and uh, should have one in here somewhere. Uh, I don't have one in here. Well, anyway, these are called liver hooks by Mustad. Liver bait hook. It's a size two, comes with five, and basically what they are. If you've never seen them, I never seen them until my uh, girlfriend's stepdad had gave them to me for to use. It's a hook. It comes down like two J hooks, and it's got two hooks on it. Not so it's not like a treble hook, but it's got one long shaft that starts out and splits into two like that. It's about that wide, and there's two J hooks on there. It's got a safety pin type thing going straight up the middle. And the safety pin comes out, and you can just thread your liver on there, and it uh it holds your liver on uh, pretty good. So, throw all this back in here real quick. But yeah, I'm definitely going to get some bass videos out to you guys here real soon. Um, this little side compartment here. Uh, just, uh, not really much of anything in here. And yeah, just some catfish and carp hooks. And, and actually, these right here, I threw I threw a horny toad on these, and horny toads look work pretty. They hold horny toad hooks pretty good. 
and it's got a little bit of a uh, side bend into it, but they hold horny toad hooks pretty good, and they're not too big for bass, so they work pretty good. Oh, uh, this compartment over here, uh, that's just my trout, little trout stash that I have, some, some trout stuff in it. Uh, this is the trout bait I was talking about. It's like a soft dough bait kind of power bait. It's my Berkeley power bait trout bait. This is uh, this is rainbow color, and I also have it in fluorescent orange. And I have power bait, natural scent corn walls, and this is the uh, corn color. It's like a neon, yellow neon. All right, let's get into the actual uh, the good stuff here. Uh, lately, I've thrown a lot of stuff out. I just got my, I just started my first, I just started my job about four weeks ago. And my first paycheck wasn't too big, so I haven't had a chance to buy any bass stuff. So I, I went through and threw out all the stuff that I don't use, and that, well, not that I not, well, yeah, stuff I don't use, and stuff that I've been working. I threw out and put it in a different tackle box, just in case everyone pulled back out, which is sort of a base that I just haven't been using. My hard bait box got pretty small, because a lot of them just hasn't been working. Uh, but here, it's got a small uh, crawdad crank. And that's good for the river, shallow river when smallmouth are biting. And then back trouble all this, but this is a Bass Pro Shops uh, uh, a lot of realistic shad. It's got a loud rattle in it. That's not too bad. And I just have an old rattle trap, a crappy rattle trap. And I got a tiger broke back crankbait in the orange, and fluorescent orange and yellow color. That's it's not too bad. And I got the storm lure. One in big trebles on there, that red treble keeps that bleeding bleeding bait color going. Uh my jigs. I I cast and flip my jibs. Jigs it depends on how they are. I usually just flip them in a small cover though. And this jig is just a regular football jig. It's uh three four ounce, blue and black. It's got a crazy Berkeley power bait crazy lake sugar crawl. And uh, blue and black color right there. And uh, my smaller jig here. Just, just pumpkin color. And this jig was chartreuse, but somehow all the skirting got ripped off and had a rattle on everything. It's my good swimming jig. And uh, a pack of crawl or a uh, pack of jump on there. Watermelon, watermelon color. Um, this is like uh, basically sort of kind of almond warm. Like I said, it's just on my tackle. Uh, these small Lucky Strike U-tails that I haven't used. Um, the oh, I can get one out here. Show one to you. Seven and a half inch uh, culprit red shad. Seven and a half inch worm. Those are pretty good. I'd recommend those here. I just got some. Uh, this is by Casey. I don't even know if you guys ever heard of this brand, but it's Casey's. Uh, simple uh, seven. I think it's a six inch, six or five or six inch worm. Uh, here I have some Berkeley Power Bait Crazy Lake Chicken Crawls, blue and black flat color. I recommend these. These are really good. I've caught a few bass on them. Uh, some trailers. I got some watermelon super salty packet chunks by Zoom. And that's pretty much it in here. I got some trailers in there. I'm not going to spend too much time on that box. I really don't pull that box out that much. It's like my desperate need box, pretty much. Uh, here. Like a sort of swim baits and brush hogs and stuff. I mean, this is like baits that, are, that I use and like when conditions are really tough, I'll pull these baits out. We have a uh, swim bait by Strike King. It's hollow. And you built. And you get the screw-in hook with a bolt, built-in bolt or the built-in belly weight. Uh, here's my favorite spinner bait. Well, my second favorite spinner. Bait. I had a uh, a uh, Terminator spinner bait in this color white without that glitter right there. My buddy had lost in rivers. I go buy me a new one. This is by uh, Makazu. It's like $14 spin rate that my girlfriend bought me. But it's a really neat pattern. It's got that glitter shad right there. And it's got the white. And it's really cool shad pattern. Um, here I got some watermelon red brush hogs. Those always work good. Just the big ones. I don't really mess with the baby ones. I haven't really tried them. Here I have uh, big bite baits, uh, um, crawls, and some crappie jigs in there. And the last box, but definitely not the least, would be uh, my soft base. My best. This is my best box right here. I have Bass Pro Shops Tournament Series, uh, 
This is the 8 inch uh, green pumpkin. I have Zoom. It's like my lizards in a warm box. My lizards, I have Zoom uh, 6 inch uh, plum. Yeah, plum lizard. Bass Pro Shops Tournament Series uh, 6 inch pumpkin seed. Here yeah, I have uh, Re Reaction Innovations California 420 Sweet Beaver. California 420 color. I have uh, the seven seven inch uh, tequila sunrise Berkeley power worm. Those are always killer. Uh, six inch zoom uh, pumpkin fire lizard. And my top water I always throw. Uh, zoom horny toad. Can't remember what color this is. About a while ago. And six inch uh, zoom June bug uh, lizard. But yeah, that's my tackle, and there'll be a uh, second part to this video, which will be my rods and reels, so stay tuned.